Okay, guys, welcome back. Good to see you all. I am going to do a flip cup, two flip cups, but a little bit differently today. When I first started pouring, oh, three years ago, I would just pour my paint in and then pour the next one, pour the next one, pour the next one, and it just all fell through. Um, like, and it was a dirty pour because all the colours are mixed, so they're dirty. And it wasn't until probably oh, a year, 18 months ago, that I started actually layering each colour on top. Um, and, yeah, I get really great re results with that, and I love it. But I'm going to go back to basics and do um, a dirty pour. So blues and greens, <laughs> my favourite colours, and they're all Montmartre. This is Thalo Blue. This is Turquoise with a little bit of Thalo Blue. This is Thalo Blue and the Green, and then that's just, it's called Emerald Green, but it's, it's, it's a light green. I don't know where they get Emerald from, but anyway, um, and then I've got some, some white, and I just, they, they have the big pumps thing on the top, and I don't like using that, so I pour the paint into these, and then I can scoop out what I want. So pouring medium is 60% glue, 40% water. This is Elmer's Glue All. You can use school glue. You can use um, clear glue, Montmartre clear glue. You get a very similar result. Um, and so I put 60 grams, which is two ounces of pouring medium, and 60 grams, two ounces of paint in each. So I'm going to put in some treadmill silicone. I like the spot on. And I think I'm going to do three drops in each. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I did make up a little bit of extra white. And I'm not putting any oil in the white. Give that a stir. Go around. And a stir. So, first of all, I thought I'll just do one big cup. But... The amount of paint that I've got mixed up is too much for one cup, so I'm going to have to do it too. But I thought I'll layer them a little bit differently. Well, not layer, but pour. So I'm going to start with some white in the bottom of each. Could have just used this cup, couldn't I, to save a cup? <laughs> so I'm just going to have half in this one and half in the other. And then I'm going to pour the paint in. And it's going to mix up. You do get a lovely um, sort of shaded, blended background with this technique. I'll leave that cup just in case I want to do this again and then I can mix up some more paint. So I'm going to use half the blue and it's just going to go straight in. Half the turquoise. Half the teal. And then half of this other green. It was quite thin, this green paint. I had to actually mix up, put more paint in. Now this one, I'm going to start with the, the green, the teal, the dark one. So the other one, I started with the, the phthalo blue. I'll just see if it makes any kind of difference. Look at me. I'm covered in muck again. And the green. And then the phthalo blue. Look at that. It's got more paint in that one. I obviously didn't go Harvey's very well. I'm going to put some more in this one because it hasn't got as much now. I was just throwing half in. I thought it was half a cup, but obviously it wasn't quite half into the first cup, was it? Might as well use it because there's such a little bit of paint left in there. It's not like I'm going to have enough to do anything else with it. Okay. Now let me just wipe my grubby hands. So, um, last night, was it last night? The day before, the government has very generously offered the healthcare workers 
an hour in the supermarkets to do their grocery shop before anyone else comes along. So, you know, the doctors, the nurses, the firemen, the policemen, um, anything, anything allied health has given them from seven o'clock to eight o'clock on a Tuesday and a Thursday to go in and shop on their own. You just have to show your ID badge. Um, so I thought, yay, I haven't been able to get toilet paper for two weeks. So I thought, yes, I'll get up early, I'll feed the dogs, I'll sit down and have a quick coffee. I got there at 10 past seven, they opened at seven, I got there at 10 past seven, got my little trolley, zzz, around the shopping centre, straight to the toilet paper aisle, zilch. Not a thing. Missed out again. So I was all excited thinking, yay, I'm going to be able to do this. Plus, there was a ration on mince. I fed my dogs mince in the mornings. I could only get two little packets. And the lady behind me, I said, are you getting any mince? And she said, no. I said, can you get me two packets, please? And I paid her because you, you can only do two in a transaction. Anyway, let's, let's just um, get on with this. Now, I'm going to just flip this one over that way. And I'm going to flip that one that way. But because I can't flip left-handedly, I'll turn it around. So let's do this one first. And I'll just go around like that and maybe put a little bit of paint on the corner. Look at those stripies. So yeah, that was a bit of um, a bit of a letdown this morning. I guess I'll try again Tuesday next week's the next time I can go. Well, as a healthcare worker anyway, so. Maybe I'll be lucky next week. And of course you can't get hand sanitizer. Soap. Soap's all gone. Just normal bar of soap. Uh, what else couldn't I get today? Oh, my wipes. Um, I always have a packet of those moist towelettes, a big one, for, for you know cleaning up after dogs and things like that. So. I've always got one of those and I couldn't get any of that today either. So you know what I ended up doing? I ended up getting um, a big packet of baby wipes from eBay and they're gonna post them out. So at least that's better than nothing. We've got a few big bubbles there. Now let's let's start to tilt. See when I, I've flipped that, that way and then that way, I haven't got that straight line. It's more of a, you know, a nice blended area there. So that's quite nice. So I'll cover half the surface, and I need this because I don't want to waste too much paint. So I'll cover half, um, and then I'll torch, and then I'll cover the other half. Whoops, I'm losing paint. I don't want to lose too much paint. Now all the weight of the paint's over here, so I'll do this half next. And my parents were just here, actually. Oh, what are you? Oh my gosh. My parents were just here. Um, they're in there. Oh, mum's mid seventies, dad's almost 80. Um, they have just come to say goodbye because they're heading off to their little retreat up in the hills for the next few months. Little little holiday house they've got. So they're going. They'll be back. Well, I guess they'll be back when they can. I'm gonna have to tip that off. Right, I think I'm going to torch now because I don't want to torch too late. Then I'm not going to have enough paint to stretch my cells out with because it's the stretching that makes them grow. So let's just do a really light torch and I'm going to have to try and tilt that off. Feels like forever since I've done a flip cup. Just popping bubbles at the moment. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to have a huge amount of cells. Get a little bit closer on the second time around. But I'm still not that close that I can pop all the bubbles. See, if I had to get any closer to pop all those little bubbles, I would be too close. So it, that kind of gives you a little bit of a hint, doesn't it, as to how close not to be. 
not so close that you're popping, popping all your bubbles. Popping, I've got puppies on the brain. So that was my little bit of excitement for the day and now I get to pour in peace. Done my shopping, seen my parents. Now I get to pour in peace. Oh, I've got more news, but oh, I'll leave that for the next video. I'll bombard you with news today. Yeah, more stuff's happening at work. I'll tell you next time. All right, let's do this. I'm really loving that bit of white there. I think I'll try and tip this off first and get rid of that because I, I quite like that white there. Whether or not it's a lot different to layering the paint, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens once it's all done. It's faster. <laughs> right now I have to walk, walk my paint. I'm gonna move you because you need to go. Yes, you do. Okay, so that's gone. <clears throat> and I'll turn around and go for this corner. I like those stripes. Maybe I need to do a ribbon pour. That's the other thing I used to do when I started pouring. I used to do ribbon pours. Which one was this one? Was that the one that had the blue in first or the green? Because I love those colours. This pale green's a bit bit much. Now walk your paint back and forth as you go down. Had to get rid of that stripe, didn't I? Oh, there's something in there again. Um, oh, no. I really don't like that thing there. Whether or not I can actually get all the way back up there to get rid of that, I, I don't know. See, I didn't, you get that when you don't stir your silicone enough, when you've left it in big blobs of silicone. If you haven't stirred it enough, you get that, those big blobs. I mean, you can go as well because you're a big blob. Okay. So if you've got plenty of paint on your surface, you can you can get all those bits off that you don't like. And then walk your paint back again. See, that's where the blob is. Although if I take it out now, I might ruin something. Oh, there we go. It's better than having a big blob, I guess. Now let me just clean my hands. And there we go. I don't know, does it look a lot different? Does it look any different? Would you know that I didn't layer my paints? That I just poured them in? I don't know. All right. I'll leave it like that. Let me just run a little tool underneath to make sure that I've got all my little drips. Oh, that corner's not really covered. There we go. Wipe under there. Oh, I need a little bit of green just there. Just miss that little tiny corner there. Okay, I think that's everything. Look, I've got cells on my <laughs> on my corner catcher. Okay, let me get my gloves off. I'll take you down for a close up. <clears throat> Where can I put my gloves? Over here. Yeah, that green. 
they must have used, I guess maybe they've used their normal green and then they've lightened it with white. And I find that when they do that, um, well, it turns more of an opaque. So you don't get other colours coming up through there. You get this thick sort of layering of the grey there. Oh, it's not the grey, the green. And it's, it's okay. Over here we've got like a, a purpley blue. The, the phthalo blue kind of has a bit of a hint of purple in it. Then we've got the blue, we've got a lighter blue, and then we've got the green. So we've got different shades there for sure. All right, let's go and have a little look at the cells, hey? Let me turn the light off. There we go. So these, what have we got? We've got the blue rings around the green there. Aren't they pretty? Really nice. And that lovely blended background. And then over here we've got the the dark blue cells. And they've got like a light blue around them, haven't they? <laughs> this little caterpillar is like a jointed centipede thing. He's not too bad. Don't mind him. He's not too bad. Um, I guess... Do you know white didn't show up very well, did it? Hmm, I was just thinking there's not much white. The only white really is this caterpillar in the middle. I have got white anywhere else? Not really, no. Oh, uh, a tiny bit there in the corner. I, I really like to have more white. So I don't know where it all went this time. Um... Now the, see that there, see how I haven't got rings there? Those two colours, the light green and the light turquoise, they must be both opaques because I've got no rings around them. Whereas here, the white's an opaque and the blue's not, so you get rings. So if you have two opaque colours next to each other, you're not going to get rings around your cells. Um, maybe I needed to have more white or a or slightly thicker white because it got lost. Quite often my white gets lost in pores and I've mentioned that to you before. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess one part white and four colours. Probably needed to have two whites in there and then it might have been a little bit more dominant. But anyway, there we go. Still really pretty and something a little bit different, hey? A dirty paw flip cup. <laughs> Righto, hope you enjoyed that. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.